Hey folks, great you're watching again. Here is our VPV, it's a BMP based ARV. And this vehicle uh, has been sold and we want to make a little instructional video about how to start it and how to drive it. So, okay, well let's, uh, let's have a look. I have the GoPro over there because it's pretty cramped inside the vehicle so it's hard to film it with that camera. Uh, okay, well let's take a look. It has a 15.8 liter V6 diesel. Um, it's located in the front next to, uh, to the driver. There. The gearbox is in front and the um, well over there are the sprockets so it has the complete drivetrain in the front and it was uh, spe special for this design because they had the uh, entrance in the back so they well they were designed for transporting troops pretty quickly to the battlefield it's like a battle taxi so uh, they have the drive line in the front so they had the doors in the back and if you have a vehicle like that it has the engine in the back and also the complete drive line in the back so okay well let's get to the point and let's get it started and i'll show you how it uh, how it works well and if you want to know more about this vehicle we have plenty of videos about it also about the restoration process of the engine we took it apart and uh, mounted a lot of new parts and have it tested as well so okay uh, first things first most important thing when uh, you are going to drive with a vehicle like this is uh, make sure that all the hatches are secured here we go and for this one for this one you see this is the control lever for the hatch over here and uh, make sure that this one you can pull it out and move it to the middle there so it is locked in position and you can also see it over there there is this ball and it you can see the hatch can't move if you don't do this you can lose your head literally because this one can swing over here and it will uh, well it can break your neck okay good let's see okay well a quick look around the uh, driver's position um, this is the steering lever over here is the gear shifter and uh, the shifting pattern well it's over there you can see it's a little bit odd um, you see this is one forward this is backward so if you pull the, the knob towards you like this and then you uh, move it up that would be first gear and move it down that is the reverse okay well and then there are <laughs> well yeah, the, the shifting pattern is a little bit odd you see that's first gear and then you go there that's second third gear the you see is uh, four and five so that's a little bit odd but you will get used to it okay well then there is another gear uh, shifter lever and this is uh this is this one um what this one does uh you can use this for taking off in second gear it um, activates the reductions which are used for steering um, the steering lever for example if you uh, pull it um, to the first you you will notice there are like uh, two positions so this is first position this is the second position and this is also for the right side of course um, what happens if you pull it to first position um, the left track is uh, slowed down uh, uh, transfer case is uh, activated or a, a reduction is activated that's the correct name for it uh, for steering if you do this then the left track will uh, stop so it will do a pivot turn okay well this thing said if you put this one down you will activate you can see you will activate both um, reductions on both sides so the vehicle will um, well move not that fast so you can uh, you can take off in second gear well then if you put this over there then it will shift up so it's like an extra well extra gear so that's that's uh, that's easy for taking off that, uh, that this well if you want to do a race then this is excellent 
<laughs> That's uh, about the levers. Then of course there are uh, pedals, and it's the same as just a manual car. I uh, try to illuminate it for you. If you see, there is the accelerator. This one is just a foot brake, and the other one there is just a clutch. So this is, uh, if you uh, if you know how to drive a manual car, then this won't be any trouble. Okay, well then, uh, at this position, you see that uh, knob, the knob over there. That one. This is for the uh, hand throttle. And it works like a bottle of, uh, of gas. So, uh, let's see. Uh, if you want to uh, give it more throttle, you just uh, undo it, uh, turn left. If you want to do less uh, throttle than you like closing a gas bottle, you just tighten it, turn clockwise, and then it will uh, stop eventually. Okay, good. Then, um, of course, uh, we have an oil pressure meter over there. This one is electric and it doesn't work, of course, because electrics are not to be trusted. And therefore we have just a very simple one, it's just on the tube, and this is our oil pressure. Okay, good. Um, then, of course, uh, this one uh, can be started electrically, but we it, it used to start automatically, and you see there is an air bottle. But unfortunately, the air starter, uh, well, it doesn't work. Uh, well, the, the compressor doesn't work, so it doesn't fill the air bottles. Um, still, this vehicle can be started automatically, and therefore we have this <laughs> this hose running over here, and if you take it out, then you see the end. Uh, you can just uh, connect an air bottle over here and then if you, well, put uh, pressure on this tube, on this uh, hose, then uh, it, you can start the engine pneumatically. Well, that's about it. Um, then, before starting, it's also important to open the fuel uh, tap, that's over there, and it is in open position. You can push this one and move it forward like that. Now it is closed and now it is opened. Okay, good. Fuel level can be checked in the back. You see the tank in the middle there, that is the, uh, the main fuel tank. There are also fuel tanks on the sides. It runs on diesel um, and if you, well, you open the back door you will see a level uh, indicator. There is like a glass tube which shows the amount of fuel left in the tank. Okay, we're not gonna look at that right now because I think that is all... It speaks for itself. All right. Well, let's get it uh, started then. Okay, well, good. Starting procedure. Um, what you want to do first is um, you are going to give it some throttle. So turn this one counterclockwise till you, uh, well, till it blocks. Now it is uh, like, uh, well, it's not full throttle, but enough for starting. Then the main breaker switch is this one. It also has. A one above it written. <laughs> um, flip that one uh, upward, and now you can see. Uh, well, lights are uh, illuminated, so we have power. Then there is the uh, primer for the uh, fuel. Let's see if I can. Uh, that's better. Yes, the primer for the fuel. That's the one with the two. Over there, you can flip it, and now you hear the uh, fuel pump uh, running. Then, starting um, first thing is uh, give it some oil. This is uh, priming oil. There we go. And what you want to do is check the gauge over here. And wait till there's oil pressure. Uh, and now we're good to start. Can uh, switch down the primer. 
Oh, the, the fuel primer, it's not necessary. Um, okay, it's free, it's a neutral, that's good. This is the starting button. Um, okay, well, there we go. Let's give it a little bit more oil. Okay, good. There we go. A little bit more throttle and start it. And then the main breaker over there. Are you good? Great success. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, a little half a day. Okay, about the batteries. The batteries are uh, located over there. There you go. See? It has two new batteries. Ooh. Um, well, the fuel, uh, the, you see, over there is the, uh, the uh, level, uh, fuel level gauge. You can see it's, well, it has like, wow. 180 liters uh, in there. Uh, this is the primary tank and then there are two secondary tanks and they are located in the side. See over there is one and the other one is over there. Um, you can see there is well there is another level gauge. Um, you can see this well this one is empty and um, you see it starts at 220 liters so if the primary tank is full 
then uh, these uh, the fuel level will be visible uh, visible on these. Um, if you see the, over there, uh, you see where the you see the the tube that goes to the top of the vehicle, and this is where the filler is. Yeah. There's where the fuel. Uh, oh. Well, I did not break my neck there, but then uh, over here. <laughs> So, and that's, that's it for the BMP. This, uh, this was a really fun vehicle to drive with, with a real pain to work at. The, uh, well, <laughs> the engine and the gearbox, um, well we had a lot of issues uh, of course with the engine itself and also the fuel pump was uh, caused some headaches, um, well, and then of course Fitting the engine and the gearbox is also not that nice. <laughs> it is uh, there is a lot of tubing around it, a lot of work, and also the uh, the air um, cleaner and exhaust system cooling unit is also really pain to uh, to well mount. It has a lot of uh, tubes running to it, also for the the exhaust pipes and stuff like that. So it was an interesting project to work at. At um, well. But that's about it. I would say if you want to see more videos about our uh, vehicle, then of course there is a lot of uh, you to dis uh, for you to discover. Also on the Werkplaats vlog, workshop vlog, there are is a complete uh, well documentary uh, almost <laughs> about this vehicle. So if you want to see more, go check it out there. And then uh, I would say uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.